table talk time as we welcome in John Shostremsky and Sal Lakata. And look, fellas, we all know it's not Verlander or Scherzer, but Sal, how concerned are you that the Mets pitching depth is already being tested? I'm not concerned at all because they're built to withstand something like this. You mentioned it's not one of the key guys there. All due respect to Quintana. The, the problem that I have with it is he was brought in to be a guy who is durable. We know he's not great historically with ZRA. I know he's terrific last year with the Pirates and the Cardinals. But you relied on him or the Mets were going to rely on him to be out there every fifth day, take the ball, eat some innings at the back end of that rotation, knowing that the front two guys, you know, 40 years old. So that's maybe where you have a little bit of an issue. But if they're going to lose anybody in that rotation, losing Quintana is not the end of the world I said it before I think Peterson's going to being better in that rotation than Quintana I totally get that my concern Sal is not necessarily about this individual injury it's the way this rotation is constructed look Max Scherzer and Justin Verlander are first ballot Hall of Famers they're also up there in age Jose Quintana and Carlos Carrasco they are not 25 26 27 years old and I understand look young pitchers get hurt all pitchers right. get hurt, but when you're rolling the dice with all the pitchers, you're only going to enhance that injury risk, and it makes guys like Peterson and McGill that much more important for this team. You don't want to be losing guys in March. You know it's going to happen over the course of 162. You don't want to lose anybody at this point in the spring. Yeah, I mean, it's an obvious fact, but let's be, let's be honest. McGill and Peterson are going to play roles 100%. for this pitching rotation throughout the year.